What's up, everyone? We ke I kept it zoomed out today. I was like, oh yeah, oh, I'm always so zoomed in all the time. You don't get to see my my full room. Goodness gracious! How uh, what what is going on with the stream though? God, it took like two minutes before people even started joining. I'm not sure if it was just poor timing, or or what the deal is. But uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just have to see how it goes. Fishing planet though. Still in the Amazonian maze. Yep, 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 yep. Good deal. Oh, let's zoom in. There we go. Who's all here? Tavon States, Emily Wood, Deedlefish, Taylor Rogers, Jackson Zollinger, Logan's Gaming, Outdoors with Caden. Watch Winter Soldier, but this is the movie or the TV show, Caden? <laughs> Kevin Bill, hi. Dragiod is here. Fantastic. Taylor Rogers again. The Keegan Miner. Hello, hello. Isan Roblox. Yay, start. Cantor. Kill the great one in the Hunter Call of the Wild. What? That's crazy. JC Garrett. Jace Garrett, maybe. Rohan is here. Carly Priv is in the house. Hi, Carly Priv. Jack's cracked YouTube. Jackson's dog. I have a long haired dachshund and puppy that me dog had five or six weeks ago. Really? Wow, goodness gracious. How was my day? My day was great. Whatever's on Disney Plus, they're both on Disney Plus, you silly goober. What are you what are you even talking about? Alright, let's start fishing. Goodness gracious. First time here. Well, fantastic, Jack's cracked. Glad you're here. We'll uh, hopefully catch some biggins. 
B-I-G-G-U-N-S. Big guns. Pogo Games is here. Morning. Mor Where are you at, Pogo Games? Where are you saying morning from? <laughs> T Taven. It's Taven, right? Taven? I always want to say Tavon, man. We'll get it. We'll get it sooner or later. Right on, right on. Should we start? Oh, whoa, whoa. What is this about? Goodness gracious. Panaton. We'll go to a friend's only room. Taylor Rogers is on a fishing trip. Oh, what are you fishing for? Netherlands. It's 2.36 a.m. Oh, man. Very cool. Netherlands. So do you fish at the Genter Newsen Canal a lot? Here in Fishing Planet, it reminds you of home? You'll have to let me know if the music is too loud, because I can't really tell. It's a little loud on my end, but I never know what it sounds like on your guys' screen. I guess I could bring it up on my phone. Then I could see for myself. A. Eh? Get off my lazy patoot. Gosh, I have to watch an ad for my own live stream. <laughs> Retro is here. How's it going, man? Oh man, I didn't want to, when I turned up the, the volume on my phone, I didn't want it to come through the microphone. We're good, we're good though. My bad. <laughs> my bad. I even told myself not to forget, and what did I do? Forgot. Did you all think that maybe you're just, uh, all of you were muted on your end and then it wasn't my fault? <laughs> no. Usually watch the stream after it's over. Ah, Kevin Bill, we're right on. Glad you're here then. Taylor Rogers is out. All right, bye Taylor Rogers. All of us went deaf at the same time. Exactly. It's crazy. It's a spontaneous deaf community deaf deafness uh, problem. He just didn't know that I was an evil mastermind planning an evil mastermind thing. What's here? eel over there at nighttime and that is late evening it's sunny time 
in the sunny time. Got a whip a Yui here. Super Stoopy's in the house. Hey, I haven't seen your name in a while. Tantan the Muffin Man is here as well. What boat is that? This is the boat that comes with the uh, Amazonian uh, pack. I think it's the Amazon Carnival pack, maybe? Something like that. Uh, Henry Grobelar, one of the BZ Pubsters, uh, was kind enough to gift it to us. Uh, he won it in a competition, I guess. And so, uh, yeah threw it our way, which was really nice of him. And uh, so this is the boat, the speed boat. It's got a two, two motor engine things on the back there. Cool speed boat thing. Very neat, very neat design. Let's see if we can pull any uh, Trira out of here. See if they're fishing on the bottom or on top. And then we uh, if, if this starts slowing down or if it never starts up to begin with we'll uh, try to go catch a bull shark and uh, we might try fishing for some other stuff <laughs> I realize that uh, it seems like we're always either going between Triera bull shark or uh, Arapaima and so we might mix it up and go for some bass today as well we will just have to see what we find Jared Fritz, what did you miss? Not a whole lot. Me being muted for like a minute and a half, but uh, that's really nothing to, uh, to frown about. So we're good. Here's a big rod. How far can I throw this out? What's the chances I catch an Arapaima? Let's find out. Call us the deaf community? No. I said that what happened was a spontaneous community deafness situation. I don't know what to call it. It's not like a plague or anything. It's just something that happened. What do you call something that just happened? I don't know. Call the Wild Hotfix is a massive fail, apparently. Oh, no. Well. Fishing planet's working fine. <laughs> You know, golly, it hardly ever isn't working fine. You know what I mean? Where has Megan been? I you know, Working, I assume. She's always working. Though she did go fishing this weekend. She posted some pictures on Discord I saw. Which is pretty cool. Busting outdoors, yo, Bo, what up? We're, uh, not a whole lot, man. Fishing for some, uh, Triera right now. At least attempting to. I guess fishing is a kind of an attempt, isn't it? We're fishing. That's what we're doing. Good morning as well. She's relaxing tonight. Oh, no. Well, then she deserves. She deserves to relax. Whoa! Got hit with something right at the start there. On the buzz bait. Should we, should we stagger it a little bit? Like it's wounded now? I thought about doing that a little late, didn't I? We'll throw it out there again. Newest call of the wild video. I died laughing. Oh man, thank you. I uh, I was I was rather disappointed with the. Uh, well, I got it again. I think this must be a peacock bass with the way it struck at it fast and isn't very heavy. But no, it's a red-bellied piranha and it just got away. Huh? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Due to low line tension from it flying out of the water. Oh, geez. Um, yeah, man. I thought when I was editing that, I kept thinking to myself, dude, this is so funny. I cannot wait to see people's reactions to it. And then it just did horrible. I mean, it, it just like, what, what's it at now? Like 400 and some views? It's just horrible. So it'll be, it might be a hot minute until I put out another Call of the Wild video. If, uh, if no one's gonna watch him, there's no point to making him. Is how it works. <laughs> you read it. Is there a secret fish there, like the Lone Star Mudwater? Secret fish. Like the Lone Star Mudwater. Like a monster fish, by chance? 
Uh, not that I know of, anyway. Guess what? I'm almost 63. I'm 62 right now. Whoa, dang, man. Right on. I'm not sure if that piranha was just messing with stuff or not. Did we... Did we have a bite on that other rod? Why is it way over there? We must have had a bite on it, right? Otherwise, how did it, how did it go over there? I'm so I'm so confused. Yeah, Carly. I, I think, uh, I don't know, there's some weird stuff happening on YouTube's end right now because uh, I've had multiple days in a row where it said that my view count was zero. So it'll be like, it'll be like, your view count is 5,500 views today. And then it'll be like, it was zero today. And then the next day it'll be like, it was 10,500 today. It's just, it's messing stuff up. So honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if it messed up notifications. It's just, uh, it's unfortunate. Doing a bunch of work to get something to be great and then, uh, and then it not catching on, so. Fate was eaten or lost. Psh. Bjorn, stop. Level or age? What, what does that mean, Super Stoopy? What level am I in life? I'm a level 27 right now, I guess. Bro, play Warzone. I am playing Warzone. I'm playing Fishing Planet Warzone right now. So you can tell I got my three rods out, my three guns, if you want to call them that. Um, the uh, the circle is right here. I'm okay right now. It was it was the uh, the it was the entire map. But it's slowly gotten smaller and now now it's right here. I'm pretty much as you saw right there I'm pretty much the last guy here So uh, I should be winning right now. I should be pick, picked up by a helicopter any moment now I'm waiting for it to happen, but it's it's not not nothing's happening at the moment Spencer <laughs> I Saw a shark in the thumbnail. Yeah, we'll go after a shark here soon. Oh, there was a nibble Okay Please be something big. Hey, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. After this DLC, is that where you're gonna fish the level up? Well, if we get to 60, I think at 60 we unlock the, uh, the, the Amazonian, one of the Amazonian maps, right? Pretty sure, anyway. So, uh, we might fish there. Otherwise, we'll be back at Blue Crab. Another trophy! A trophy tri-era here. $9,888, 7,000 experience. That's awesome. I love these tri-era. They are so sweet. And for 47 pounds... Come on, you can't beat that. Can't beat that. 47 pound fish for almost $10,000. That's crazy. All right. It's almost 7 o'clock in game right now. We might stay here till like 7.30 maybe? What does that have to say? <laughs> Playing fishing plan. I still think that these travel costs need to be cut in half though. Um, you know, once you get to a certain level, the travel costs really aren't that hard, that aren't that bad. AUS Pogo. Um, so yeah, it's unfortunate when you're starting out. It seems like a lot, but at some point it's, it's really not much of anything. I need to buy Quattro to get the White Wolf. I really want that. Quattro Colinas is a fun map, man. It is, uh, it's actually one of my favorite maps. Um, I love Verhanga. Verhanga has a special place in my heart. Um, I'm trying to think of my second favorite map. Uh, maybe Silver Ridge Peaks? Uh, but Quattro Colinas is certainly up there. Um, it's just a beautiful area and there are a ton of animals. And, uh, and I love going after animals that have horns. Uh, antlers are, are certainly cool, but uh, the horns are, are awesome. As, and there's red deer on Quadriclinus as well. So if you do love antlers, I mean, it doesn't get much better than red deer, you know. 
7 o'clock and my both of my minnows are escaping something it seems first like oh well, thank you Jackson Kabow kids hi dude I just bought the lucky bundle for the game and then I couldn't catch crap well what's the deal exotic gaming what are you what are you trying to get I honestly don't know what comes with the lucky bundle um, so I'm not sure what you'd even fish for with it. I assume something to go with the uh, the St. Patty's Day event, which is over. So I, I mean, those lures work for other fish, but not sure. Hmm. Hi, it's a ha ha. Hello, hello. Luke Clausied, Clausheid, Clausheid. I don't know why I was in trouble on that. What did I miss? Uh, not much. If you saw the one try here, I think you're up to up to date, man. We're we're just waiting here. This uh, this one on the right's moving around a lot. Fishing Planet Royal came back, Mr. Stream. Sorry, Eagle Eye. No problem, man. No problem at all. The cruise ship is supposed to pick you up on this map. <gasps> is it? Jimmy Young. Whoa. The river broke. The river. The river broke. River boat cruise. That's supposed to pick you up, eh? <laughs> Retro. Guess what? I'm about 63. I'm 62 right now. Super stupid level or age. It was just a joke. Oh. Okay. I got you now. I'm. I'm with you now. I didn't piece it together. It's very difficult for me to. Uh, to look at the chat as a as as a puzzle being put together. Instead, I see them as individual pieces most of the time and uh, <laughs> require you to explain how the puzzle pieces go together, unfortunately. <laughs> Judo has been waiting to catch one of your streams. Let's go. Hey, right on, man. I appreciate it. Maybe we should, uh, instead of just sitting here looking at this, we should throw out Garden Pest. You know, we caught that unique Traira on the buzz bait that one time. I don't know whether to think that was a fluke or what. We have not caught another trier on a buzzbait since then. But goodness gracious, hasn't stopped us from trying. It got hit by something there, though. You're too good at this game. I can't get crap. Oh, man. Got hit by something right there as well. <laughs> well, I'm not sure, Exotic Gaming. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you're if you're following along with the beginner series, um, you know you're paying attention to what lures you're using in accordance to what fish you're going fishing for, and you're paying attention to what time of day you're fishing. Got a little peacock here. Can't remember what kind of peacock this is. The one with the splotches down the side. A trophy, Oronoco. Oronoco, Oronoco. Peacock bass, 6.298 pounds, $1,945. Not bad at all. <laughs> Certainly one of the highest paying bass in the game. I think the speckled peacock bass pays really well as, as well, so. So that's pretty cool. Uh, those minnows are just going crazy everywhere at the moment but we're, just, we're yet to catch anything it's the dragon pack one. Oh, okay yeah i see a lot of people using the dragon pack one today's your birthday lucky enough you're streaming adam harris happy birthday I, i'd say so it is it is lucky you know streaming two days out of the week you, you are fairly lucky that that it happened to be on the stream day that's awesome man happy birthday happy birthday we'll do here i uh, do um, Oh, just for Adam Harris. Have, happy birthday. Boom, boom. Dun, 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 dun. Happy birthday, Adam Harris. Happy birthday. Oh, did we get snagged? We got snagged on some. Dang it. Come on. Take it from this angle. That's the name of the game, Waiting. Oh, yeah. Fishing Planet Waiting Edition. Get ready to wait. Hey, got a fish there. Small one. 
What is it? A red-bellied piranha, it looks like. What? I think I think that was Adam Harris. This guy heard the music and he was like, I wanna I wanna do the music. Let's go. We've uh we've got multiple uniques on this darn buzz bait, just piranhas. They come up and grab just about anything. Ridiculous. Like the giant rod. Giant rod. All right, cool. Which one's going off here? This one's going off. It's got a good bend on it. Yeah, another triura. Maybe. Yeah, it's a small one. Maybe. Honestly, I don't know. Could be a peacock pass. I think it's a small triura. That's uh, a small one. Seven hundred bucks. Two thousand nine hundred and thirty-two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I thought it would be a small fish, so I thought it would be like $700. Nah, $3,000. Small fish still, 19 pounds. Try year, man, I'm telling you. Crazy, just crazy fish. I wish Squish was here to celebrate her birthday. Oh, I know, gosh dang it. I cannot believe we've missed her birthday. Cole Stargy is here, how's it going? Are you good at fishing hunting in real life? Spencer, you know what? I've got a video about that. Why don't you check it out? <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll, here, 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 I, I got, I got it. Don't you worry, F Spencer, I'll look it up for you. So you don't have to, you don't have to worry about it. I made, you know, this was one of the most frequently asked questions on here. Gosh dang it, what are you doing? There you go. There you go. Give that a watch. <laughs> Texas hunting and fishing. Hi, Bo. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? How's it going? And boys, is that is new? Is there any tip to improve and level up faster? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, depends on what uh what level you're at, I suppose. Because uh, depending upon what level you are, there's different places to level up and gain money faster. So. That's the real question at this point. Jaden, I don't know why I read that as Jaden. Jed, Jaden, goodness gracious, Jaden Bjorn, what's up, bro? What's up? What's up, bro? Got a little fish towards the end there. Another? No, it's actually a Rona. No, it's. What the frick? It just came out of nowhere. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> crazy, crazy. That's say it's sunny outside now. What, what's the deal there? <laughs> what fishing pack would you recommend? Jade and Ol Olivera. I, I don't recommend any any fishing packs. I recommend premium. Play the premium. Earn the all, earn all the stuff uh, by playing the game. You know, cause cause here's the thing. If you knew in the Hunter Call of the Wild that you unlocked the 4570 at level 32, at level 10, would you pay actual money to unlock the 4570 at level 10? Or would you just keep playing the game until you unlocked it at level 32? That's, that's basically what you're dealing with when it comes to fishing packs and fishing planet. You can unlock almost, you know, the only difference in a lot of cases is that it's got a special uh, color to it. It's got a dragon on the side or it's an American flag. You can get a, a rod that's just like it, basically. Um, and it'll work just fine and you don't have to pay any actual money for it. You know, goodness gracious. Isan is here. How's it going? Beast mode. What's your favorite fish to catch? Uh... I don't know. I always I always thought tarpon were a lot of fun, but the trier are a lot of fun too. So I'm not really sure now. Just realized the title says "Call of the Wild." It shouldn't say "Call of the Wild," man. Uh, sharks and wolf fish, river monsters in the Amazonian maze, 
and call the wild of course it does what the frick what the frick there now it doesn't say it anymore <laughs> good catch good catch sister's birthday was yesterday goodness gracious well happy late birthday there yo i got in a motorcycle crash today no broken bones just some bad cuts and a road rash no er visit just home care all food that dude an excuse to get good food <sighs> what is this expensive food i got in a motorcycle accident today oh my god are you okay yeah i'm okay but god i just could use some really good food right now totally understand man you spend all the money you want for food that sounds like a great excuse dev boss you are in a well obviously the motorcycle crash is is bad but man you're in a good scenario <laughs> I need to find myself in a good scenario like that. I just, I got in a crash today and uh, I just really need a lot of good food right now. Oh yeah, for sure. I, under I totally understand. M boys, nice. Hello BZ, Nox to go, how's it going? How am I? I'm doing quite well, thank you. So I could post it for you. Oh, understandable, Carly Proof. Understandable. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Why, thank you, kind sir. You are so welcome. I'm playing on Xbox. Is it possible to add friends from PC? Um, if they are playing on the Microsoft Store version of Fishing Planet, then yes. Uh, you can link up uh, if you're playing on Xbox. That's the only way to do it, though. Um, if they are playing on the Steam version of Fishing Planet, then you cannot. Um, I had a video about that, crossplay and whatnot, so yeah. Unicorn! <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm behind on the chat. Goodness gracious. Whoa, got a good fish. Finally got a good fish. What is this dude? His fin's not coming out of the water like a triera, but I still think there his fin is. Still think it's a triera. Not a very big one though, but still probably $2,000. $3,000. <laughs> ah, it's crazy. <laughs> All right, we're at 184 pounds of fish right now. Whoop, 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 whoop. Doesn't seem like a super big fish. But it's a fish, and that's what matters. <laughs> Camden Franklin, how's it going? What do we got? Ripsaw? It is a ripsaw. Whatever, we'll keep it whatever we'll keep actually i'm gonna keep this out i don't want to get um um thinking i'm thinking i'm thinking what level do we unlock the big hooks i want the big hooks i want them now i feel like that girl in um willy wonka i want it now what's the difference between the Interesting. Ugh, I want the big hooks. Curtis Bubinator, are you late? Well, a little bit. We started at 7.30, so you're about half hour. Half hour in, but it don't matter. What is your favorite fishing map? Hard to say, man. Um... I, I get bored with things too easily, so even things I enjoy, I get bored with them. Um, I enjoy this map. This map's fun. I enjoy Blue Crab as well. I like the Everglades. It's fun. Um, I remember that when I first started fishing, um, Emerald Lake was probably the most fun that I had had yet while playing Fishing Planet. And then... Um, Let's see, what would the next... After Emerald Lake, I think Naharan was... Naharan was probably when I thought, okay, this Fishing Planet game is a lot of fun and I need to spend more time playing with it. So, uh, Naharan is really your first opportunity to catch not spotted bass only, but like largemouth and smallmouth at the same time just constant consistent bass fishing 
and I had a ton of fun. I mean, you think about when you're fishing um, for a specific fish and you kind of catch a lot of them and the, and the bite kind of slows down to near nothingness. When you're fishing and you've got both uh, uh, smallmouth bass and largemouth bass, it's just consistent. And if you switch lures, then it just changes it all up once again. So you catch, you catch uh, four smallmouth and you catch four largemouth, and then you switch from a, a worm to a, a crankbait or something, and then you catch another four smallmouth and another four largemouth, and then you switch back to the worm or you switch to something else, and, th and then you catch another. Like it's just you're consistently catching bass in the hair, and it was a ton of fun. So. Um, yeah, I've had multiple situations of fishing planet where I was like, this is my fair, this is my fair place, but I don't know, it always changes. Knox the Goat, I'm, I'm great. Have you ever played wiffle ball before? I have, man. We used to play that all the time in my backyard growing up. Um, yeah, it's hard to describe, but yeah, we used to play it. Um, and it was like one of those things where... If you hit it too hard, it would go into the neighbor's, neighbor's fence, and then, then you were in trouble, and then you had to, like, go ask them permission to go get it, and... Yeah, so... It was a bad thing to hit it over the neighbor's fence. <laughs> Luckily, though, we had, like, a giant tree in our yard, so a lot of the times the wiffle ball would, like, hit the tree. But if it got stuck in the tree, then obviously it wasn't good either, so... Ryan Polganorn, how's it going? Good picks. How's your day been? Camden says my day's, the day's been good, man. Thanks for asking. Fishing plan would add gloves to the game as cosmetics. Oh yeah, you want gloves? You want gloves, huh? Think you need gloves, huh? Something's me messing with it. What top lauder uh, lures do you recommend? I recommend the uh, the frog and the buzzbait. I enjoy both of those. The buzzbait is easier to use, I think, but uh, the frog is very effective, especially in the Everglades, where you can throw it out on top of the lily pads and bring it uh, past the lily pads. That was like my go-to at the Everglades and talk about fun i mean the everglades is like naharan on steroids because the largemouth and the peacock bass are both super voracious and they pay so well that it's just it's just crazy baruch assault is completely right yeah carly hey arcade how's it going man play the song payphone clean version on stream please Knox to go you know if i were to do that uh I would my my video would get copyrighted, so I can't can't do that, man. Sorry. Are shiners a good bait for bass? Um, honestly, don't know. I never used any bait for bass. I hate when my bobber does this. I cannot see it at all. I have to pay attention to my little indicator on the on the right here. Cryptozoology. I, I can't I can't say I ever really did David Pizzle Sticks. Um no. Don't believe so. First time in the stream of yours, I hope this is a video and love all your fishing plan of vids. Oh. Well thank you, Nicholas. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> David Probus is here. I am a nice shark, not a mindless eating machine. If I want to change this image, I must first change myself. Fish are friends, not food. Spoken straight from Bruce. And uh, I don't remember the other two names of the sharks. But yes, fantastic, David. <laughs> That's the way to enter into a conversation. <laughs> I often use that as an icebreaker at parties. Um, unfortunately, I think when the ice breaks, it shatters and scares everyone away. So I, I wouldn't recommend it, but it's all, it's all right. What days are you gonna make my day when do you stream? When do you stream? Uh, uh, Mondays and Wednesdays, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central is when we stream. Jackson Upton got his first gobbler yesterday. You were happy about it. Dang, man, what's the stats? Tell us about the stats, Jackson Upton. Have you ever played Wiffle? Yes, Luke. Yes, 
I told story about it. Hey, what's the best place to fish at level 26 for XP and money? Most likely Everglades until you can go to uh, St. Croix. All right, this we had we had nibbles. We had nibbles. What's the deal? Was this the wrong spot? Is this the eel spot? No, this is the Arapaima spot. Well, what the heck? Let's uh, let's switch. I'm gonna put a smaller hook on this. Let's uh. I don't even know. Eight aught hook is the smallest one we got. Seven aught. Let's put a shiner on this one. I'm gonna throw this out. We haven't caught an eel yet. I'm not sure if you need to be fishing at nighttime to catch one. But I want to try. Whoa. Lots of splashes around here. We're gonna toss this out and just see. See if we get lucky. A shiner on a seven aught hook. What could happen? Lots of stuff. Gotta go to bed, got school. Keep up with the grind, Jared Fritz. Hey, thank you, ma'am. Take care. What is your biggest fish in real life? Uh, currently, uh, the only fish that, the biggest fish that I actually have like an actual weight for is my 15 pound, five ounce carp that I caught uh, a little while back. I, I always tell everyone who asks that my entire life, we never weighed fish. We never measured fish unless we needed to like know if we were keeping them to eat them or something like that. Um, and we needed to know if like a walleye was 18 inches long or something like that. That's the only time we ever like weighed or measured things. So, it, it, you know, but <laughs> I am, I'm sorry to say, I do not know any fish that I caught my entire life until like few months ago when I finally got a scale. Hit four homers in school today. Oh man, well done, Luke. A channel catfish on the Red River. Dang, well done, Curtis. Tyranno King, how's it going? Yeah, it will be cool. Will you play Call of the Wild today, Megan Vogler? No, this is a Fishing Planet Day. Fishing Planet Day. Face to face with your cage. What? What? Smash the trash is here. How's it going? You got to Everglades today. Well, congratulations. A ding. That's our first ding. I'm not sure if I should be fishing on the bottom or on top. But I do know that when we finally start fishing or finally start fighting. If it has splashes everywhere like this big movement over here, then we're dealing with an eel. Which is what I'm hoping for. Jonathan Taylor, first time in stream, thought I would find something to watch while I was sturgeon grind. Oh man, the sturgeon grind. Tell me about it. Yeah, understandable. Understandable, Jonathan. I know about that. I'm bored. Start catching your bill. <sighs> What do you think about me? You think I enjoy just sitting here not catching fish? Huh? You think I can just snap my fingers and have a fish show up? I, I would love to do that. <laughs> Don't gotta tell me anything. What fish should I go for? I see you go for peacock. Is that good? Peacock are great, especially early on. Uh, peacock pay really well. Um, the problem is that if you hook into a... Uh, if you hook into a largemouth bass with a peacock gear, it might not end well. But uh, you know what? That's the risk you gotta. That's the risk you gotta take. You want to make the moolah. Um, but if you go to the Everglades and you have like a, you have like a, a 12 pound or 14 pound rig, um, you should be you should be pretty set. Uh, that or I would just use uh, less than maybe a two aught. I, I would use something less than a two aught hook, basically, to try and uh, keep some of the larger largemouth from biting your hook at the Everglades. Ten inch beard, and he weighed nineteen and quarter pounds. That is really cool. Uh, we never weighed our turkeys either. 
I know that that's like a, a thing that a lot of people do. We we always just took the beard and the spurs, we measured them, and uh, and then that was it. We never weighed weighed them. So huh, that's, that's cool though. Got your first shard today with large men on nine on hook. Dang, well done, Damon. How big was it? Was it less than 100 and what is it, 175 pounds? I, I think that's kind of like the maximum that you can get with the regular hooks. Trade and chase, hello, hello. There's a 22 pound musky. Dang, Brady, that's awesome, man. I want to go after some musky sometime. That would be awesome. We don't have them in Kansas, but I need to go somewhere that has them, that's for sure. Double XP and money with no downsides because I believe it costs bait coins or at least more money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you gotta you gotta buy the marvelous ones with, with actual bait coins, which which can cost money. No, oh, the shiner's starting to move a little bit. See you, Shiner. Is that a ding? Come on, fish. Come on, fish, 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 fish. I have a lot of slack. You were at the last stream. Remember, you know, you know, here's the rule, Trayton. I remember everyone. That's the rule. Can you catch an Arapaima on a lure? You can, Jaden. Yeah. A big one. I'll, if uh, if we can catch a darn eel, I'll show you. Come on, eel. We might have to wait till nighttime, honestly. I'm gonna count to 10, and if we don't get a ding, then we're, we're stopping. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. All right, eels. You're being too slow, and I don't like it. Um, so, so this rod that you get with the carnival pack is is freaking crazy, man. Um, and it comes with these giant swim baits, which you can use to catch arapaima with. We'll we'll toss it. We'll toss it over here for a little bit. If we if we don't catch one, then we'll go to another spot where I've caught them before. So, but I'm yet to catch one over here. Someone just shared this marker with me. So we'll just we'll just see if we catch anything. Here we go. Here we go. Do 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 do. Twelve pound bass. Well, dang, man. Can I fish for bass? You bet I can. Got a pretty big trophy bowfin. Well, right on, man. Logan's gaming. What'd you miss? Oh, bunch, bunch of fish, man. Bids with Jerry. What'd you miss? Same old thing. Bunch of fish. All right. I know this is a new spot, and I should give it a chance, but it's just. We haven't caught a fish for like 10 minutes, so we, we just need to go to a faithful. We need to go somewhere faithful that we know we'll catch fish. <laughs> At this point, goodness gracious. This wasn't where I wanted to go. You turn. But drop a like if you enjoy. Oh, thanks, Beast Mode. When are you going to upload your turkey hunt? I tell you what, I feel, I feel, I have a bunch of film of turkeys, but I don't have any film of me getting a turkey. <laughs> so I, I figured I would hold off for now and, uh, and, and I'm going to head out next weekend, not this weekend, but the next weekend and, uh, and see if I, if, if I'm lucky, uh, with, with my shotgun. And, uh, and then, uh, then I'll just post it all, um, you know, my, my archery hunt and, uh, my firearm hunt as well. And, uh, and, you know, that'll just have to be, if we don't get a turkey, then we'll just post it as is. And if we get a turkey, then we'll post it with, 
with the turkey. So we'll just see what happens. I, I love turkey hunting though. I love turkeys. I think they're an awesome, an awesome bird. And I think that they're uh, a great introductory animal for, uh, for people to uh, start hunting because um, a lot of times with animals like, uh, I don't know, mammals, I think squirrels and deer and stuff, it's really easy to get really hurt by um, their emotions, I guess. I, I, I think with them having hair or something like that, it's just easier to put yourself in their shoes or something and, uh, and you feel bad for them. Versus a turkey is just like an old warty ogre or something. Just like the most, like its feathers are beautiful, don't get me wrong, but its face is like the ugly, ugliest thing you could imagine. So um, I think it's a great <laughs> introductory animal to start hunting. There we go. So there you go, Arapaima on the lure, a little swim bait there. So grilled turkey tenders, yes please, so dang good. You know, we always shish kebab. We, my, I don't know why my dad always did it this way, but he, he would always take chunks, he'd put them in a marinade, and then we would uh, shish kebab them on the grill with some peppers and onions and whatnot, and that was amazing. I loved it like that. Demo for Ultimate Fishing 2. They said if everyone goes well, the demo will come out next week. Um, you know what? I sent a message to the guy I know at Ultimate Fishing 2, and... He sent me a very cryptic message back, and I honestly have no idea what's going on. I was basically like, hey, is the is the demo, pre-release demo coming out? And he was like, well, the testing will tell us if the demo is coming out, so surely, yes, it will because of the demo. And I was like, what? What? So is it coming out or not? And so I, I have no idea, so we'll just have to see. Because I always know that when my baseball practice ends, you'll be streaming. Well, hey, man, that's awesome. It's now dark. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you noticed that it got dark all of a sudden. Let's throw, uh, I'm going to throw a glow in the dark bobber on. Ooh. See if we can pull an air pima out of here with this thing. Goodness gracious, is that bobber large enough? My leader's too long. Let's try that again. How did my leader get so long? Surely that's not how it was to begin with. Yeah. Did I do that? I'm so confused. Six off reels. Oh, dang it. I don't think I don't have a uh, I don't have a hook that's that small. OK, now we just threw out the wrong rod. Gosh dang it, Fishing Planet. Alright, we'll go try to catch an eel again here. I'll have to buy a 6 saw hook if they have them. <laughs> Trayton, do you still fish uh, Fishing World Pro Tour? Uh, yes, I do. It's been a little bit though. We got a ding! Where should you go? Um... I, I don't know. I mean, it sounds, it looks like you should be fishing at the Everglades until you can go to St. Croix, I guess. Or you should just fish for whatever sounds fun, you know? That's what, th this is a fishing game. Fish for whatever you want. <laughs> That's within your level. <laughs> really big spurs. Well, right on, Jackson. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't have a Raku Minnows, Ryan. Do you fish for bass? Uh, no, I don't. 131 pounder there. 3,534 XP. Not bad. Not bad, I guess. I guess that's a pretty good fish there. All right, I'm just going to throw it out here. A couple of Arapaima. Can you make a vid for Flathead in real life or in the game? Because Zachary and I tried to make a video for Flathead last year and we just never caught one, unfortunately. So 
We'll have to give it a few more tries. Actually, my wife and I are going camping, and I was hoping to go fishing for some flathead while we're camping, so we'll just have to see how it goes. Might have a flathead video in real life coming out soon. We'll just we'll see. Henry Grobbelar is in the house. How's it going? Use a large minnow and a 7 aught hook and go. Yeah, well, I was using a shiner and a 7 aught hook um, because that's what my marker on my map said to use a shiner. So I'm not sure. There's a ding. That would be cool, Jonathan T Taylor, for sure. How big is Noonie Arapaima? Oh, golly, I don't know. 350 pounds, maybe? Come here, fish. Come here, fish. Another young Arapaima. Gotten a few uh, young Arapaimas, haven't we? PC Gamer, hi, how am I? I'm doing quite well. Thanks for asking, man. How are you doing? What is the best time to go fishing? When the fish are biting, bro. Um, I don't know. It just changes on the day, man. Changes on the day. Depends on what the weather is. Adam Miles is back. We'll ride on. <laughs> Wish me luck on Friday or Saturday. Can we go in Turkey? Hunting? Well, good luck, Jackson. Just give you the give you the luck right now. All right. Watch a live stream. Always too late and they are over. Corbin Tracy. Well, you made it. You made it tonight. So fantastic, man. I tell you what, we bought a, a bunch of large minnows in preparation for fishing here and uh, we're just about out. So that's not a bad thing. It means we've been catching a lot of fish. <laughs> limb line for flathead. Well, I don't, li I don't like limb lining or setting lines. I know that, I mean, if you're just trying to catch a fish to, I, I don't even know, to, uh, to eat it or something, then maybe do that. But what, then there's just, <laughs> where's the fishing, huh? You're just putting something out there and it's, it's doing the fishing for you. I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. You might as well pay someone to, I mean, that's, that's basically what it is. Setting a line for a fish would be the same as having a guy sit there and catching a fish and then giving it to you. Where's the fun? <laughs> it's not, he didn't do anything. The line got it. You just threw it out there. Maybe you chose where to throw it out. Maybe. Give yourself a little bit of credit, I guess, by saying, well, I chose a good spot to throw it out. But, come on. Not like putting in the time, throwing the, going out there and catching live bait and throwing it on a hook and throwing it out there and waiting a few hours for that one chance to catch a good sized flathead. Now that's, that's a story. What do you fish with in real life? Um, I have rods and I have reels and there's line on the rods and reels. And uh, and then I put bait on hooks and the uh, fish go for them. Um, I don't know. I have a bunch of stuff. They're all different stuff. Um, pretty much every rod and reel I have is different. So I don't, I don't really know. Boo Garcia. Um, my, some of my rods are EOS. I've got a Silver Cat Magnum rod there for, and a Cast King bait casting reel for f big big catfish. I honestly I don't even remember all the different stuff that I have. So, all right. 
The bite for air pima has slowed down. Let's go catch an eel. This is probably a good spot over there for eel too. Brady, hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. You have your first rugby game this weekend. Oh man, well good luck. We didn't uh, we didn't play rugby growing up. That wasn't like a sport that we could play. So that's that's pretty interesting, man. All right, so seven knot hook and a large minnow, you say? Should we be fishing on the bottom or on top? I don't really know what an eel likes to do. What's an eel like to do? Throw a large minnow on there, I guess. All right, large minnow and a seven knot hook. Just what the doctor ordered. Probably should have put a nighttime uh, float on there. In fact, I'll just go ahead and do that. We, we just threw it out there. Let's just throw it on. Alrighty. There we go. Ah, oh, that's easy to see. All right, come on, eels. Seven odd don't work. Try six odd. Okay. Well, I don't have any six odds, so we're just gonna have to try sevens and just see what happens. You hate group projects. Well, what kind of group project are you working on, Carly? What is the biggest fish you've caught so far? Um, I think an air pima. I think uh, I don't think I've caught a bull shark that's larger than it. It catches forty pounders, and you can fish while waiting. I can fish while I'm waiting with other rods too. You should play some more Hunter Classic so I can play with you. Oh, okay. I I wish I had more time to play. <laughs> and especially during uh, hunting seasons and stuff like that, where I, I would be able to, like, on the weekend, just play for a bunch of hours and, and get a bunch of recordings ready so that I can edit a bunch of videos and put them out. I'm instead out fishing or hunting or something like that, which which I also record, but you know, I can record like two or three videos in a morning, you know, on a Saturday morning playing video games versus one video trying to go fishing. And, and if it doesn't go well, then, you know, then I don't have a video at all. So whatever. What sport did you play? Because I'm big with baseball. You know what? Um, stop. Don't listen to me. Um, I played a lot of sports. Uh, it's, it's kind of cringy to talk about all the stuff you did in high school when it was, golly, uh, nine years ago. So, but, uh, yeah, it, it, it was easier for me to list off the sports that I didn't play than played because I played less I didn't play less sports than I played oh I bet it is PC gamer for sure with the with the all blacks and everything very cool man blood is really good shark bait I bet it is and if I had it, I would probably use it, but I don't have it, so, you yeah. know. We can, we can always talk about the things we wish we had, right? Well, this, uh, this minnow is moving around quite a bit, but, uh, we're not really getting hit up by anything that great. I honestly haven't checked to see what time is a good time to be fishing. Goodness gracious, Bjorn's barking. Um... 
let's go ahead and buy there's five bot see that's an offset six hot hook oh right there ah took my bait off All right, six dot. Could you help me in fishing? But absolutely, that's what I'm here for. I'm like fishing planet tech support, except fishing planet support. What backyard sports did you play as a kid? I don't know. Kick, kickball, soccer, wiffle ball, frisbee, uh, f football. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Do you play PC or Mac? Uh, PC for sure. Um, I don't think you can. Can you even play the Hunter Call of the Wild on Mac? You probably can with some sort of some sort of thing. La is it Locky or Lashy? Lashy? You're at Emerald Lake. All right, that's cool. Emerald Lake's a great place. What What do you need help with? Have you watched the videos I've made for Emerald Lake? Perhaps that is a good starting point. Thanks for the stream and good luck, Beast Mode. Right on, man. Take care. They do have a six on store if you want to buy, but not trying to tell you what to do. That's what we just did, Ryan. Thanks for thanks for talking about it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, David, what's your reunion coming up? That's funny. Turbo Diesel, hey, big fan. Hey, right on, Turbo Diesel. I So you don't even know. I'm a big fan of, of, of Turbo Diesel. So this is crazy that you've showed up because you are you are Turbo Diesel. That's crazy. You're a big fan of BZ Hub. I'm a big fan of Turbo Diesel. It's crazy. That's amazing. What's your favorite map in Fishing Planet? Fantastic question. Frequently asked. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't think I have one. I, I like them all. I get bored with every map, so I have to keep moving around so that I don't get bored. Ultimate Frisbee? Yes, of course. Anything over 5 audit, I'd say, is too big. Oh, you think so? Well, what the heck? What are we fishing with the six odd for then, huh? Wasting my money, all of you people. Goodness gracious. What are we even doing here, huh? What are what this is what happens when we try to fish for other things. Right? <laughs> they don't have a they don't have a five odd hook, they just have a four odd hook. Alright, alright. Oh, oh, he didn't take the minnow off this time, okay. What are they? Let's see. I'm not going to put a large minnow on there if we can just get away with the shiner. Where are you, eel? Where are you? There you are. Shiners. It says shiners. Okay. I'm using shiners. Want to play with me? Oh, well, right on, man. That's, uh, that's why I open up friends friends only servers that way people can, can come join in i suppose eels are hard to catch well certainly not panning out at the moment is it uh yes ilyas amamdua i don't know if i'm saying that yet correctly but yes yes we did did get a mature bison Howdy, howdy, howdy. Nate McCann, how's it going? Finally caught a live stream. Love the vids. Hey, Biggie smells. Hey, right on, man. Thank you, thank you. 20 year reunion? What? Bro. That's crazy. Do you have a favorite plate for carp fishing? What What do you mean there, Andy Van Leerty? Le Is it Liard? Liard? I'm not sure. Um, 
You have a favorite, like a favorite place for car fishing in the game? Is this the best map lake on the game now? It's, it's the newest one. You know, what can you say? What makes it the best map anyway? I mean, once you're level 70 and you're fishing here because it's the newest map, what, what truly makes a map the best one? Because you most likely already own everything that you want in the game. So there's no point to making money and the only thing to do is do competition. So is there any point <laughs> to, to what's the best map or whatever? <laughs> like your content keep it up josh youtube may thank you so much appreciate it i wish the eels would bite i don't know what their deal is that's it i'm about to go furiously dance in an abandoned warehouse i'm so frustrated right now let's go catch a bull shark We got you, Eagle Eye. Yeah, we used to play that too in um, PE. That's kind of fun. It's, like, it's got a little twist to it. And and I've often found that Ultimate Football is a good way to get everyone, everyone playing. Cause you know, I just you know when you played recess football and stuff, it was really easy for like. You know, you had one quarterback and then like everyone would go for a for a, a, to catch the ball or something and get open and whatnot. And uh, it was really easy to not to not throw it at everyone except for like one person. <laughs> there was like one guy who would always catch it or something like that. The quarterback would just always look for that guy, basically. So I don't know. But in Ultimate Football, then everyone's free game. You're just trying to find someone to throw it to. Just gotta keep it rolling. Keep it going. Yeah, Josh, Everglades is a great place. David Propus is correct. Favorite map in the game for car fishing. You can't do any better than uh, Weeping Willows, man. Weeping Willows is the place for carp fishing. You almost pronounced my name right. What a first. Bro, you have no idea. I don't sleep at night if I don't pronounce people's names correctly, so... Please, please, please correct me if I ever say someone's name wrong. Because <laughs> I'll, I'll stay awake at night thinking, did I say that person's name correctly? I don't know. I don't know if I did. All right, sharks. Do your worst. Fight this sucker and, and get hooked. And get hooked. I bought the under call to find out my PC can't run it and it ticks me. Aw, oh, man. Gosh dang it. That is frustrating. I agree. Any tips on bull sharks? Uh, you know what? They're awful finicky things I've found. Um, you just kind of got to find a good time to fish for them and in a good spot like this dude's about to take this guy. And, uh, and good size hooks. Take it if you're bad. If if you're bad, you'll take it. Just saying. If you're not bad, then you know what? Just move on, I guess. <laughs> Have I played AFL? I don't I don't know what that is. What is AFL? Imogen. Is it Imogen? Imagine Imogen. 
Dom Mormino. Any tips on bull sharks? Yeah, I already read that. I didn't read your name though. Dom. I like that name. Dom. Makes me feel like I'm in the mafia. Dom. I want to yell Dom. Dom! Did you do the job? Good. I pat, pat your cheek. <laughs> your brother was good. I'm glad you're alive. Oh, I'm glad I'm live too. Cobb killer. Crystal Paddock is here as well. Did you miss anything? Oh, a bunch of fish. Bunch of probably probably the best fishing ever. It's, it's very unfortunate that you miss it. Uh, I, I don't I think everyone will agree that uh, this is probably the best fishing that we've had ever. Um, it, and it's unfortunate that uh, you know, golly, not not even gonna be able to. I, I've decided I'm not even gonna post this video up afterwards. So uh, if you missed it, ugh, really missed out. Cause uh, wow, yeah, wow. I mean, I can't even. The fishing was so good that I realized that I shouldn't even post this as a video afterwards. Cause you know, I should just keep it as a as a small treasure to those who were here from the very beginning. <laughs> No, it's it's been pretty average. We've we've caught we've caught some good fish. It's, it is what it is. I said you. Oh, I, I thought I said your name wrong. How do I say your name right? I gave I gave like three different examples, but I wasn't. You didn't say anything about any of them. Help me! Help me! Switch baits if it's slow. Well, I have large cut bait. I guess we could try, but I, I don't. I don't have any. I don't have any other bait. I'm too low of a level. We don't have any cool bait to use. What's this about, Giancarlo? Goodness gracious! Thank you so much, Giancarlo. Did you miss anything? A lot of fishing. Almost. Uh, Almost an hour and a half of fishing. God, wait, man. We almost caught that shark in the very beginning. I went to straighten out my line. Like an, like a dummy. Sometimes I wish that the trolling motor would go a little bit faster. <gasps> oh. Here we go. All right, here we go. This is a Christmas song. Where, how did this get into the playlist? That's what it's like all the time for you. <laughs> Just got your first peacock deck uh, attack venom. That's awesome, man. Danny, what's up, Bo? What's up, Danny? How you doing? How you doing? AFL is Australian Football League. Okay. Yeah, I don't know much about the Australian Football League. I, I'm sorry to say. Willie, yo dad. Willie, yo dad. Sup. Sup, Willie. Went to Missouri and caught 22 pounds of young largemouth bass. Well, right on, Crystal. That's pretty good. That'll work. And your name is Log. Yeah, I know. That's what you said the first time. I don't. You gotta. You gotta spell it out so that I can like read it. Cause I see that and I'm like Lachy, Latchy, Locky. I'm like trying to think of all the ways that we could pronounce that. Gotta keep on making the grot vids. Hey, well, thank you, Fish and Hunt All Day. Woke up late, seven in the morning. My goodness gracious, Danny. Where, where are you at? Drove me crazy. Oh, I know, right? The new Apple phone has been released yesterday. Oh my goodness. Lack he. So lack, lack he, lack high. Black high. Did we get it?
Took your advice on the grinding and now you're level 22. Joe Ganucci, fantastic, man. That's awesome. India, well, right on, Danny. And we got India and Indonesia now. We're doing quite well. I should keep a, a big map of where all the subscribers are from. That would be cool. It is awesome. I think it's sweet. Hope I didn't miss a bunch. Oh, Dominic. Ah, oh, Dominic. Another Dom. Um, just a lot of frustrating fishing. Goodness gracious. We tried fishing for eels for a little while. Didn't catch one. We're now fishing for sharks for a little while. Haven't caught one. And it ate 52. Hey, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Dun, 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 uh, Mr. Q, that was your Q to go under. God, was, that was that close. We were that close to having a perfectly timed dun -na. Dun -na. <laughs> I'm still doing it. Carson Branholm just got here right on. Red right on, red right on, Carson. 48 feet pretty much straight down whoa whoa howdy 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 i'm woody fantastic finally caught one goodness gracious took long enough you took long enough huh i thought that uh showing up on time was a big deal to sharks huh guess not guess uh i guess sharks have really changed you know Back in my day, sharks had respect for people's time. Not anymore. Not anymore. Are there uni sharks? I, I believe so. I want to say yes. Pretty sure. They need a better system. You think so, Campalicious? 155 in New Zealand? Oh my goodness. You're enjoying uh, an afternoon Is it, uh, tea time yet? I don't know. Do you have tea time in New Zealand? I'm trying to remember when we would have tea time. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We're gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out. There. Is it any one of those? What's a wolffish? I'll tell you what, I honestly don't think that a triura is a wolffish. I think it's a different type of fish that looks a lot like a wolffish. I'm, I'm, I want to say, <laughs> I think I picked that up from a River Monsters episode. It's, and maybe I'm thinking of a different fish altogether, but we'll, we'll have to read the description here. I know that Jeremy Wade caught a fish that looked a lot like a wolf fish one time, and he was like, oh, this is a blah blah blah. Pretty sure it was tri -Hero. Um, but, but people know the name wolf fish, don't necessarily know the name tri -Hero. So I put wolf fish in the title, because I'm big brain. Shame they don't have prehistoric sharks, well, tell you what. 
there aren't any prehistoric sharks left anymore except in discovery specials that always end in them not finding one so you know what can you do i tell you what i tell you what I wonder how many how many uh, years it will be before I apply to get a Discovery Bigfoot hunting uh, show because Bigfoot has got to be one of what? Well, how am I? Sp I'm trying to say that for 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 a fantastical beast that could or could not exist. He's made a lot of people a lot of money. <laughs> because they have so many shows looking for Bigfoot and they never find him. But you know they made money from those shows. I should just... Uh, you go big. Thank you. Thank you, David. Uh, yeah. I think we should just start an entire YouTube channel about it. Every time... We'll just go out into the woods. Doesn't even matter where. We'll go out into the woods, start us off by saying, oh my God, we're going Bigfoot hunting. Now, according to my research, doesn't matter what research I did. According to my research, there is a very good chance that a Bigfoot could be in my backyard. And then, then we just stay out there all night with night vision cameras. Uh, Anything that remotely sounds like a big hood, uh, Bigfoot, uh, a dog barking in the background, uh, a cat uh, making noise, or a, a car alarm in the distance, we say, oh, this could be a Bigfoot. This could be... Now, that is a Bigfoot mating call, I believe, based off my research. Um, could be Bigfoot ba mating call... Roof, 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 roof. Oh, that could be a dog barking at a Bigfoot right now. And then it's morning time. We all, we wake up. You know, we don't wake up because we've been awake all night. And uh, from there, we just end the video and say, well, no Bigfoot tonight, guys. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. We'll, uh, we'll try to catch Bigfoot the next night. And every video will just be that. Over and over again. Bo's Bigfoot Adventures. That's exactly right. BBA. <laughs> Am I Bigfoot? No. I have I have uh, average size feet. <laughs> Do I have blood unlocked? Do I? Let's see. We have meat chunk. We do have blood. I guess we could try blood. 23. Level 23 is when we got blood. We have a lot of blood now. You think blood is going to work? Okay, well, let's let's turn around. Beep. 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 We're going to try blood because Elemental says we should. I've never seen Bo and Bigfoot in the same place. <laughs> that is true. But you've never seen me and Batman in the same place either, have you? Or Cat in the Hat. Which one am I? Or am I all three? That's for you to find out. In this episode of BZ Hunts for, for Bigfoot. Where one was being born. <gasps> That's crazy. Jaden Brown, what'd you miss? I don't know. Fishing. A lot of fishing. Gotta have some tree knocking. We do. We need tree knocking. We'll, uh, we'll hit some antlers together. Say, you know, this could attract deer, but according to my research, Bigfoot use antlers to uh, to talk to one another. So, so we're gonna use these antlers here. The deer will be able to tell if this is a deer or a Bigfoot. So, so yeah, not a big deal. All right, 10 knot hook with some blood. We're trying it out because Elemental said so. <laughs> Awkward silence. 
<laughs> That's exactly right, it's my stretch. A B Z, it's been a minute. I've been busy with school. Angelo, my goodness gracious. I'm sorry I missed your, your message. Busy with school is a good thing, though. You, you be busy with school as much as you want. So Lachi, Lachi is, is the third one. Okay, so Lachi McDonald. Got you, bro. I'm, I'm with you. JJT, awesome. You should add me. You should add me because I'm playing right now. So okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I recommend leaving, because you miss so much. <laughs> KC Putter Tatters, Putter Tatters, BZ, KC. He must be all three. Is Fishing Planet adding Bigfoot? I I can, I I both can and cannot um, agree agree that they are adding Bigfoot. I I want to say yes, but at the same time, uh, I want to say no. Uh, if that makes it any clearer for you. We call the Discovery Channel, we got him. <laughs> I want to say mud, but at the same time, I don't want to say mud. Mahud. Mahud? Fazrula. Fazrula? Mahud Fazrula? Maybe I just have to say it really fast. Mahud. Mahud Fazrula. You play a Russian Fishing 4. Uh, we played it once, but we haven't played since. Catch any sharks? Yes, we did catch one shark. We, uh, we have some blood out there right now. Hoping for the best. Hoping for the best. Big feet? Ooh. Yeah, has anyone considered that maybe he's just like a pogo? He's just a, a mono leg creature, just one foot. Is the new pack worth it? No, no packs are worth it, Brody. It's one thing I cannot stress enough. Do not buy packs in this game unless you're just itching to pay money or you just don't have the time to earn things in the game by playing. Derek Chauvin, new to the channel, how's it going? Well, it's going quite well. Thanks, thanks for stopping by. I mean, I wish we were catching more fish, don't get me wrong. What the duck? Elemental catching a shark right off the bat, huh? Okay, see how it is. See how it is. Yeah. Looks like you have a bobber, but I can't even tell, so meh. Your blood isn't working. It's also not the greatest time to be fishing, but I kind of want to throw. I see there's fish on the bottom there. There are fish on the bottom. I see. I'm going to throw on a large cut bait and a 10 out hook. We're going to throw it on the bottom. See if we catch anything. Might catch a big Piraiba. A Piraiba. Come on, Piraiba. Are there sharks in the game? There are, Julian. Yes, they are. Where's Zachary? Zachary is uh, playing Warzone right now. Game name would be the same as his YouTube channel. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Max depth. Max depth. Doesn't get any more max depth than fishing on the bottom. <laughs> mm. 
Nah. Getting so bored. Also not fishing at a fantastic time. I'm just going to go straight to... Actually, let's just change it here. You bought the Spore Bundle 50% off? That's a steal. The game is free to play, so why not support them, I guess? You can support them by buying premium and then earning all the rods by playing the game. So if you want to support them, support them buying premium. You level up faster. You get money quicker. You can change time faster. It's pretty much everything that people ask for versus buying a sport bundle of rods that you're going to end up unlocking by playing the game, but you don't earn as much money and you don't earn as much XP. So that's that's the logic there, I suppose. Max depth, you said. Okay, I'm gonna try max depth elemental. Max depth. That sounds like something to just yell toward to your friends for no reason. Yo, Henry. Max depth, bro. Dude. Oh, Max Depth. Thanks, man. You too. Max Depth to you as well. And also with you, Max Depth. <laughs> what should you do if you're stuck in the low 50s? That was like the beginning of a song in the Willy, Willy Wonka. I don't know why that sounded weird to me. I wanted to say Winnie Wonka. God, my brain is starting to fry. What do you do if you're stuck in the low 50s? Whoa! Max Depth. Max Depth, bro. Yo, Max Depth, bro. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun 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 He's a small shark. He's a young, a young lad. An absolute young mad lad. This rod is the strongest rod ever. It's like... Hi Elemental, we're gonna go through your boat, okay? Don't mind me. Building a new startup focused on curing cancer and ridding food deserts and catching Bigfoot. Dude. That's crazy, Zach. You're a very impressive man. Currently fishing for sturgeon. I understand that, man. Uh, but yeah, if you're stuck in the low 50s, you need to be fishing for white sturgeon until you can get the blue crab and fish for a bunch of fish there. Anything new? Absolutely not. We haven't caught a new fish this entire time. If you saw the old fish from the beginning of the stream, we haven't caught anything new. We have actually just released that first fish over and over and over again and just caught that same one over and over again. Goodness gracious, this dude is a pain in the patoot. Why are you being such a pain? Huh? You're fighting. You're fighting a losing battle. Just give up. Give up. Get in the boat. Stop what you're doing. I am the law. Good night. Good night. Annoying the crap out of me. Where is my line? Is it behind me? There he is. He's just like sitting at the bottom of the water right now. Like right beneath my boat. Doing nothing. Max step. Max step, bro.
Oh my god, this dude is a pain. I've never had to fight anything this long in a boat. He's just... I don't even know what he's doing. Like, look. Now he's underneath the boat. He's just sitting on the bottom. Oh, sub 30 now. Max depth rope. Max depth. He's definitely max depth right now, and he's kind of being a pain. He's being a pain about being max depth right now, and it's really, it's really annoying. 26. Tell you what, if this doesn't beat my PB, <laughs> I'm going to be so mad <laughs> fighting this guy for no reason. Unicorn shark. 300 pound tiger shark I just got. Um, pretty sure this is a great white. Uh, if it's not, it's probably like a megalodon. Megalodon mixed with like a hint of great white mixed with like a hint of saw nose. Giancarlo, what rod are you using? Yeah, you know, I honestly have no idea. One of the match rods, man. It's a, uh, it's higher up there. It was kind of the best one I could buy at my level. And we're just, ah, finally got him. 163 pounds. Wasn't even worth it. You weren't even worth it. Just saying, I hate to be that guy, but come on. 163. It's nothing. You're nothing. Okay, you're not nothing. But you made me made me angry. Okay, sorry. Good deal. That's a shark. The shark if I've ever seen one. Yui. And we're back. Throw some dynamite in there. Nah, 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 now nah, we're talking. Now nah, we're talking. Gosh. Oh my gosh. About to catch two in a row. Pull your lineup. Goodness gracious. Rise KM, love your vids. Hey, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Woo, shark. He knows strong, don't you know, Julian? He's not actually human. He's an alien. He's just wearing a human skin to uh, to not scare us. Can I say hi to the dog? Absolutely. I can hear him walking around outside. He actually just got yelled at, so he must have done something bad. <laughs> Good night. Pulling us out into the max depth area. Oh no. We're not gonna have a chance if he gets us out into the max depth. I've been playing Call of the Wild on Xbox for almost four years and I now play on PC and no longer have my max level on all my guns, including my DLCs. Cypher, you know it all uh, it all comes in time, man. I can tell you that uh that uh, PC is gonna be more fun than Xbox most likely, so take it as uh, starting from scratch, enjoying the climb. Woo! Wowie zowie! That was crazy. That was crazy. Hey, we finally caught our first regular size bull. I'm celebrating. That's something to celebrate. Oh, 
I thought we were, I thought, I was beginning to think we were like maxed out at 175 pounds. Oh, goodness gracious. I didn't think that we were going to catch one bigger than 75 pounds, honestly. So that's awesome. Okay, well, let's see how big he is, I suppose. Ah, that's a, it's a shark. <laughs> that is a shark, if I've ever seen one. Okie dokie. There we go. You know, you doing okay back there? I can see your eye now. Don't you turn. Hey, you stay there, buddy. Oh, great picture. Fantastic. $22,000, 6,900 XP, 209 pounds. Making our way downtown. That's for sure. Let's go try to catch another one. This old train hasn't stopped yet. I leave the sturgeon. Uh, 54 most likely. 343. Yeah, nice. We haven't unlocked the larger hooks yet, so we probably won't catch anything that big. 22,000 dollars. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, it just paid for my whole trip here because it, it costs like 21,000 dollars to even come here. <laughs> Crazy. Craziness. Four hundred and forty pounds. My biggest bull shark was four hundred and forty-one pounds. My biggest bull shark was four hundred and forty-two pounds. That's cool. That's smash like button material. <laughs> this sign is posting a bunch of fish right on, right on. Have you tried the spot towards the bottom of the river? Caught a 315 pounder on first couple attempts. Oh, whoa, whoa, sir. Very cool. No, I have not. Well, we might have to try that if we're if we stop catching them here, which kind of slower anyway right now. Slower anyway. Yeah, can we convert fishing uh, fishing? Uh, is it isn't it about time that fishing planet creates some sort of crypto coin that we can ex uh, exchange with our money in fishing planet? <laughs> Smile, he nil. Can you say hi to Bjorn? I certainly can, yeah. I can say, ooh, got a ding. Got a ding. Heard you ding. Don't try to hide it. Well, thanks, Rise. Appreciate it. Fishing planet money to doge. Exactly. Luke Strong, what's up? We're fishing for sharks right now. 70, negative 70, negative 170, but not sure. Just to the bottom of the river, next to the little island. Okay. They should add, like ocean fishing. You know, you're not alone there, Julian. I think a lot of people would like ocean fishing. A lot of people would like ocean fishing. Okay, let's give this, let's give this a, a couple more minutes here. One last try, and then uh, and then we'll go try that other spot that you're talking about there, serve. One cent per fish. That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of stuff that I want in the game. <laughs> Wish there was codes for rods, reels, and money. Yeah. You know, when I was a little kid, I, I loved the cheat codes and stuff. And at some point, I realized that using cheat codes in games just makes the game less fun. <laughs> and that the progression of your character and unlocking things uh, via the work that you put in 
is uh is pretty much the fun of the game because once you have everything in the game you know it's a, it's like a different it's a different journey at that point i think i realized that playing world of warcraft there's a there's a point where you're playing world of warcraft and you level up your character all the way up to the top and then you reach the final level and then it becomes like a totally different game and so this entire time it i would compare it to like football players playing in high school and college and then getting into the nfl like you watch them and you hear people all the time go oh i like watching like college players because they work harder to like try to get up to the top and uh and so it's more fun to watch them in that way and it, it's kind of that way you know with this stuff as well so i have this marker here so we might have to try that fish on the bottom right there whoa okay <laughs> did not expect to hit that okay didn't expect to hit that either here we go we're go i wanted to go out there why can't i go out there fishing planet this is fake this is all fake that's good water out there let me go where i want to go there's the river cruise there's so many dolphins over here ah we just saw like four dolphins jump up that's crazy all right That'll be $22,000 boat repair. <laughs> I hope you've been saving up your money. Probably not. I don't know what happened with it. You know? Just, just the way it goes sometimes. Fishing ammo right now. Kind of low level yet. Any t oh, man. Oh, man. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 um yeah catch a bunch of walleye man that's kind of i mean honestly it sounds simple and it, it it really is that's emerald lake catch a lot of walleye that's pretty much all you do at emerald lake to make lots of money you need to catch walleye so catch them he seemed really big when he came out of the water nine thousand dollars sorry elemental i'm moving i'm moving i gotta turn my boat on real quick hopefully there's no sharks right here Yui. and stop How do you catch white sturgeon? Uh, spawn sack on a seven knot hook is what I recommend. I think. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. You might be able to go higher than that. Not, not entirely sure. I would like if they added spear fishing and crabbing in Hawaii. Here's my thing when it comes to spear fishing and bow fishing. I don't. I. I wouldn't call. I, call it that i guess um i i am someone i know it's not as easy to say as spear fishing or bow fishing but um i would put it in the category of fish hunting with a bow or fish hunting with a spear um you know you think about fishing you're putting a bait out there you're using your brain to think, okay, there's probably a fish out here next to this, uh, these, uh, bushes or whatever they may be. And, uh, with the right bait, right depth, right time of day, all of these things, strategies, know-how comes together and I'll catch a fish. Hopefully that's fishing. When it comes to shooting things with the bow, or shooting things with a spear throwing at it I guess not really shooting it that's not fishing that's hunting that's what you do in hunting you see a deer you shoot it 
you see a, an elk, you shoot it. You see a fish in the water, you shoot it. Bow, bow fishing is not fishing. It's it's fish hunting with a bow. <laughs> so so I don't think that uh, bow fishing or spear fishing has any place in Fishing Planet. It would be something that would be more attuned to uh, to the Hunter Call of the Wild, I guess. You're on podcast mode. I'm on podcast mode too. I'm just talking. <laughs> Maybe it's 11k each. That's exactly right. Yeah, exactly. Mosasaurs. We need Mosasaurs in this game. Hey, Rise. I I am on a friends only server right now. Anyone who has me as a friend can join in. But hey, first cast. First cast, man. It's crazy. Back it up. Back it up. How do you catch smallmouth buffalo on Lone Star? Um, I I want to say a feeder rod. Use a feeder rod with dough balls, maybe, or corn. Or like any sort of vegetable, maybe. I'll try that. With maybe like a, a one-aught hook. Or a number one, maybe. I'm not sure. That's off the top of my head. I don't really know for sure, but that's what I would try. All right, all right, we got three minutes. I probably shouldn't spend this time driving, but that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go back to my favorite fish fishing spot. So don't judge me. Here we go. See how fast we can get there. Time me. One, two, <laughs> three. That's what my mom used to do. See if you can do whatever I told you to do in 10 seconds. 10. Nine. <laughs> Anytime my mom wanted me and Zachary to do anything, that's what she would do. Hey, you didn't put the hose away. Go put it away. No, oh, mom, I don't want to do it. I, I, let's see if you can do it in 10 seconds. I've heard most kids can't do it in 10 seconds. No, I don't. 10. Okay, fine. I'll go do it. Jeez. Leave me alone. <laughs> so then Zachary and I are running to put the hose away in 10 seconds. That's how it was life life in the in the bz hub household try banded araku minnows tell you what i probably would try that brody but i don't have any so you know wish i could but i can't so what i recommend is just don't say anything <laughs> let me suffer What's going on with that mad eye at Lone Star? I don't know. I don't know. We had a talk the other day. He's going through a rough time right now with his girlfriend, and he just doesn't want to do much of anything at the moment. So uh, it might be might be a little while till we see him show his face again. His mad his mad eye, but uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. He also uh, got trapped in a chest. Um, at a weird fish wizarding world and someone is using a fish form of a polyjuice potion to act as him which is just blowing my mind when I heard that I was like wow you have a wizarding world in the fish world and he was like yeah yeah it's crazy so it's crazy I don't even know what to say All right, well, probably can't use blood here. Let's change that again. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna try Shiner on that one because I haven't tried a Shiner on that yet. I'm gonna put a seven odd on this one. Uh, sometimes it takes the bait off and other times it doesn't. I don't understand that. Do, 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 do. That's a 10 odd there. Let's try an eight odd. I'm gonna try different things to see uh, see if it improves our bite chances. All right, all right. Bo, what's your favorite eating fish? You know what? I like salmon. I really do. Um, I'm like I'm like going through my mind of all the fish that I've tried. Uh, and a lot of them are like your regular. I mean, if we really wanted to get into everything, you're talking tilapia, cod, salmon. 
walleye, bass, like largemouth bass, white bass, striped bass, um, channel cat. I don't think I've ever eaten a flathead. I can't think of a, I can't think of a time we've eaten a flat. Anytime we caught a flathead, we threw it back. It was fun. Kind of one of those river monsters that's like, ah, oh, flathead catfish. Wow, look how big this thing is, and then you throw it back. <laughs> it deserves to be in the river. Um, trying to think of anything else. I've never eaten crappie before. I've never even caught a crappie, honestly. Uh, I've eaten bluegill, but only because they were selling it at a store and I wanted to try it. It was really cheap, so. Um, which blew my mind. I didn't even know they sold bluegill at a store, but they do. So tried that and it tasted like fish to me. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I love salmon. I think salmon's great. Tuna and uh, swordfish are pretty good too. I think the idea of eating shark is fun. Like, oh, I'm eating a shark right now, but I don't think it's like anything special. I think it tastes like a, like a swordfish or something like that, which is, which is cool in its own way, but it's, it's whatever. You've caught a crappie before. Yeah, I know. Uh, crappies are a pretty standard thing for a lot of people to catch, so. What's the best place to catch Sauger in Emerald Lake? You know what? I caught it where the lake kind of like carries off into like a little corner. I caught it like right there in the center. If you watch my Emerald Lake beginner video, you'll see where I caught one. Catching whale sharks, my guy. I'm always catching, I'm catching the biggest ones. To get your live, but I have school, Devin Bishop, I understand. Unless it's smoked. Hey, I like smoked salmon too. We have it on a, I have a breakfast uh, recipe that I always make. Uh, it's, it's actually Gordon Ramsay recipe. But it has smoked salmon in it, and I think I think it's really good. And everyone else thinks it's really good too. So, so yeah, give that a go. It's like scrambled eggs, but you put cream in the eggs as well to make them a little bit softer and, and creamier. Believe it or not. Um, hey, that's some band. That's some band. That's what I like to see. Let's go. I love salmon and also raw tuna. Raw tuna. I like, like, sushi tuna. Where the heck did you buy sword? They have swordfish steaks in a lot of stores, man. Just go look in the, in the frozen, like, fish section. I bet you'll see a, or, or just in, like, any sort of, like, fish, fish section. They have, usually will have swordfish steaks for sale. <clears throat> Ever had halibut? Um, you know, my parents caught a halibut when they were in Alaska. I don't think I've eaten it, though, to be honest. Watuna is good. Best YouTuber ever, Devin Bishop. You're the best watcher ever. <laughs> I don't know. This is something. I know you were thinking when it bit. Mm, that's probably not anything. No, no, it's definitely something. It's a flat whiskered catfish is what it is. A trophy flat whiskered cat. This has got a tiny bit of bend in it. Can we catch a peacock? Or is it a... Please tell me we caught a... A unique... Ah, dang it. Trophy red eye piranha. Right on! Well, let's just end it on this piranha here. We're already five minutes over time, so... That's, that's gonna do it, everyone. I really appreciate everyone being here. Ton of fun to always have so many people showing up and, and hanging out and chatting away about fishing and, and everything going on in life and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, who's, who's to say? Is the <laughs> anyway, top notch. Well, make sure you uh, say thank you to David for being our moderator tonight. Really appreciate it. Zach has showed up for a little bit. Um, our members in the chat, Carly Priv, doing doing the work as well. We had some other members showing up too. But uh, that's it. Anyway, hope you all have a, a great weekend. Get out there, go fishing or something. Do a, go go do a hike or something. I don't I don't know. Go go play in a creek. I have no idea. <laughs> that's what we used to do. We used to always play in creeks for some reason. Anyway, that's it. 
Take care, everyone. And as always, remember. One family. I don't know why it's the hunting one. I, I must have messed something up. <laughs>